everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is What is Wednesday. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, welcome. What is Wednesday is a series started on my channel where anybody and everybody can comment, complain, and your concerns out there. Um, I basically do what is, where is, why is, and I'm now going to be doing how is or how. Uh, so basically you can come to my channel, comment anywhere you want. I have the links to my social medias are down in the description box down below of every video. So without further ado, let's get into some of you guys' complaints. I'm your host Cherish and as you heard by that intro, this is What is Wednesday. We are at episode 26. So we are actually very close to our giveaway slash challenge, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so probably a little bit later, um, either this week or next week, um, you guys are going to get an updates um, on the what is Wednesday, just because there's a couple little changes. Um, usually I'm trying to change little bitty things here. Um, there's updates for the up and coming vlogween versions and sessions or videos, whatever you want to call them. So without further ado, I want to let you guys know that the iCard over here has the playlist for all the other videos um, that you may have missed. Um, do make sure that you go down into the description box um, and also look there if there's a specific video you're looking for and don't want to look in the playlist for it. Um, you also should like and subscribe while you're down in the description box because just above it is the like and subscribe button. So make sure you are and make sure you turn on your notification bell uh, because it is the only way that you are going to get notified anytime I upload a new video since subscribing isn't the only way to do it anymore. Um, also, if there are any birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you guys want me to um, put into my videos to wish somebody um, do make sure you let me know in any of the factions, be it a comment down below or the, the social medias. The links are all in the description box down below. So these are just a couple actually this week. I'm kind of okay with that. So let's jump into them. So the first one comes from a friend on Twitter and she says, what is the farthest place you have ever traveled and was it completely out of your comfort zone? So, so a couple of years ago, like 2014, was the first time I left the comfort of my parents' home and I went to live three cities away from them. I was kind of nervous to do it, but I was still in California. But then in 2016, it was the first time I actually left California and I moved away. I moved into a small house in Salem, Massachusetts. It's my own house and it was so weird to be in this state living here. I visited Salem when I was a kid. I started making yearly trips when I was nine years old and did it for most of my life. Now I live here. Going back to California feels so weird to me now, but I like my home and miss it when I'm gone from it. It's so weird to feel that way. For me, Vegas was one place I had always gone um, when I was a kid. Um, we always took our annual va um, family vacation um, where the whole family got together and we went to Vegas. Um, my older half brother lives in Vegas um, with my nephew, my oldest nephew. And at the time he was living with my now ex sister-in-law um, and my nephew was maybe, I want to say maybe four or five years old. Um, and I don't know, I guess my parents decided that, um, I should go and stay a week with my older brother. So I took a Greyhound, which definitely was way out of my comfort zone because I had never gone traveling by myself. Um, it was a little scary, I would say, just because, like, being in San Bernardino scared me. Um, like, being left there for, like, two hours was a little bit scary. Um, and Victorville was kind of scary, only because, um, 
we had to wait extra time because the first bus, um, it actually got full. So we had to wait for the second one, um, which was a little unnerving, but then I made it to Vegas and apparently it was a scary part of Vegas. And my older half brother told me all along the way, I was supposed to let him know like what city I was in. It was kind of funny and cool too at the same time. And um, like the second I hit um, Vegas, he told me to tell him, so I did. And then he said the second I rolled up into the Greyhound, uh, the Greyhound station and I did and like he <laughs> ran there and he was like this is a scary part of town blah 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 and so that was probably the only thing that was out of my comfort zone was traveling by myself it was a weird experience it was fun experience but it was a little unnerving um every now and again so that was a little out of my comfort zone this next one comes from my best friend on twitter and she says why do people have to body shame others so when i was in high school I was made to feel like a cow. People picked on me for years and years. Now I'm an adult and at my old job pre-virus, I was the skinniest woman in our business and people always called me skeleton woman. Two years ago, I decided on to own skeleton woman and on Halloween, I went as an actual skeleton and people looked at me like I was so weird. Now I was almost... 289 pounds because as of two months ago I gave birth to my twin sons and I'm just a plump woman who is a happy mother I don't know why people body shame um I've always been body shamed um uh, there are still times where I think I get body shamed body shaming has happened all my life so since the time I was nine you know I was called earthquake um I've been called so many things um so I actually had to learn at some point just not to care. I actually went through very crazy weird stages in my life. Um, as I started getting older, I only wanted to wear black. <laughs> Funny, I'm in black. But I, I still love to wear black, obviously. Um, but I was basically doing it to hide myself. I always was wearing, seen wearing a sweater, and um, most of the time a hood. And, you know, I was just afraid to be myself. Um, in the summertime, I died because I refused to wear sleeveless. Um, if you guys have started noticing in previous videos, I will actually wear sleeveless. I'm not currently right now. Um, <laughs> I don't have a sleeveless Halloween yet. But, um, you know, so I started, I just decided maybe, I want to say three or four years ago, I think it was four, I just decided, you know what? I don't care I got bat wings and I'm gonna accept that I got bat wings and I'm gonna like that I have my bat wings and I'm gonna move forward and who cares if I have bat, me bat wings so I started actually just accepting that there was no way I was gonna lose weight and I was just gonna have to be happy and I made the decision like two years ago um, that I want to be cooler on during summer and I started wearing dresses um, it benefited because my business though not right now but my business when we would go to the meetings it actually entailed it entailed you to wear a dress or be dressy or formal and you know that's what I had to do so for me, it was just basically going about it, trying to find my comfort level, um, getting hit with alopecia because of my thyroid issue. You know, that's a struggle that I have to fight with. There are times where I just blatantly don't care. And in a couple videos, yeah, you guys have seen what it looks like. Um, most of the time I was hiding it under a hood or a hat or anything like that. Um, Granted, it may seem like maybe I don't accept it. That is probably, for me, you know, my size, I don't care. I could look like a freaking balloon or a house right now, and I don't care. For me, my hair was always something that I treasured very deeply. So to have the problems I have with that, it does make me um, lose confidence in myself actually pretty hard. So that's the only thing I have to deal with. I knew that people would look at that first and body shame me that way too. <laughs> now that the explanation has taken forever. So this next one, and I believe it's actually the last one. Yeah, the last one comes from a friend on Instagram. And she says, what is one part of your childhood that you wish you could go back to 
and or live in forever. Mine is when I was nine, which was like 30 years ago. I went on a family trip to Yugoslavia, which is a which is in Southeast Europe. And most of my family went on this trip, but most of my family hated this trip because almost every day it was pouring rain. And the funniest thing ever that happened on the trip was the third day we were there we were there and there was a thunderstorm it was right over top of our house and I literally watched the lightning hit our tiny kiddie pool and it popped the pool I have so many memories when I was a kid um that I would honestly say that I miss honestly I think for me the 90s honestly um because nothing bad happened in the 90s um we were still all one big happy family, um, including still living with my older half brother because he was in school at the time. So he would stay with us during the week because the school that he was going to, elementary, middle, and high school, was actually quite close to our house. So he, during the week, stayed with us. Um, and then weekends and some holidays, he would go and stay with his mom and two stepbrothers. For me, it was, you know, I guess I didn't treasure the times that I had back then with family, where everybody was together, everybody was getting along. Um, so I don't know. I can't exactly pick one specific memory um, when we were going over this, I think I had thought of my one specific memory at the time, but now I'm kind of like, I don't know what my one specific memory would be. Um, just because like I said, the nineties was a pretty good era for us. Um, as a family, we were all together. We all seemed to always want to spend time together. Um, we had game nights where we always played Monopoly and um you know that kind of stuff and I don't know I kind of feel like um when we moved to our new house it was like everything changed and everyone started changing um, um but yeah if you guys have any you know thoughts or comments on any of these ones that were done um do feel free to reply to them down in the comments um let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on everybody else's comments um if you have a complaint or something that you want to say or ask other people always feel free um that's the whole point of this series um is for everybody to just feel like they can say whatever ask whatever and feel however they want um granted a lot of the time some of these questions can be a hot button for somebody else and it'll start a fire that way you, you you just never know but anyways that is all i have for you guys today in this video so next week is 27 so 27 and 28 will end off this month 29 i will give you guys the question um and then you guys feel free to challenge yourself and challenge each other and have fun with it um so yeah and i like i said either this week or next week there will be an updates video on the what is wednesday just so you guys can have a little bit of the updates on what to look forward to for these next couple challenges um i'm always getting comments and um trying to figure out what is the next step so stay tuned for those videos you guys will be able to find out what's going on um they're only slight minuscule changes some of them are not even going to go in effect for this season um we are a quarter of the way through this season so yay um but anyways that is all i have for you guys today in this video um and i will see you guys next week